Okay, so this was our baseline in green before, and this was on different wheels and tires. So we have lost a horsepower by switching wheels and tires and going to the front wheel drive fuse as opposed to all wheel drive. Um, it is a little shorter pull, which is why I chose to go front wheel drive instead of all wheel drive. So that's why I did another baseline. So this is where the car sits right now. Um, I'm gonna go grab this intake pipe and throw it on and see if we make some power. So we're at 92.6 horse and 101.5 foot pounds of torque. Um, the air fuel is looking pretty rich. You clear down into the tens up top. So I'm gonna go grab that intake pipe, put it on the car, and as you can see right now, it is totally stock. So we're gonna fix that. Okay, so got this pipe now installed. This is a Rally Tech piece, but they are not for sale um, because they don't come in a complete kit. They require a little bit of modification to make it work. Uh, but as you can see, it still works with the stock MAF and stock airbox. So we're gonna see if just replacing that pipe, which was previously this shorter run, so it's a little bit of a longer run now, but it has these crinkle pieces, which are generally considered to reduce airflow. So we're gonna see if the swoopier bend helps make a little bit more power. Six was our baseline on this. Oops, let me turn off some of these other noises real fast. Run six was our baseline. We did 92 horse and 101.55 foot pounds of torque. And that was the baseline on these tires in a front wheel drive mode. Um, I chose to go with front wheel drive mode, uh, not just to see if it made a little bit more power, but also actually because I wanted to. Um, make the pulls a little bit faster in all-wheel drive it's having to pull both rollers these are weighted rollers and so the poles are very long and um, this is a Subaru so <laughs> trying to keep it alive is always a task so um, there was my best pull I believe on the stock uh, oh that one was just a, just a hair better there cool. we had we had no gain there which is why I, I stopped so you do a few pulls on each level and then you go on so there we go 92.68 101 foot pounds now with the let's see which one was the best here yep that's the last one all right so 
with just the intake tube, not a filter, but just the tube in the stock airbox. I picked up one horsepower, but and I also picked up four foot pounds of torque, but right up here, I lost a little bit of power. Let me go back to the triple graph where we have torque and horsepower separated. All right, so as you can see right here, the blue is with the tube and the red is with just the stock airbox and everything. We're actually down three and a half horsepower at 57 speed. I'm all, I'm all kinds of wrong today. Sorry about that, all right, there we go. So you can see we lost some horsepower right there at 54.50. Um, so now let's see what we did with the intake tube itself. All right, so we have a very similar max power number. We're actually down of about one horsepower, but look at the torque gain between the first pull and the intake. We're up eight, seven and a half foot pounds of torque, and we got some of our power back up top, but what I really want to show you guys is this. As we've been adding airflow, the mass airflow meter itself has been just adding a ton of fuel. The first pull was an 11.6 air fuel ratio on the stock air box, and that's pretty good. But as we added airflow, the mass airflow meter voltage went up and it just started dumping fuel in. We're clear down to 10.5, 10.3 out at Redline. That's so rich. I feel like if we could lean this out, we'd probably get all of our power back and more. Now that is technically tuning. So the result of an intake versus a stock car, here you are. Big torque gain, small horsepower loss. So that is the result of the test, which the internet wanted to see. What happens when you put an intake on one of these cars and don't change anything else? So there you go. Big torque, big gain in torque, small loss in, in peak power. Um, I would still say that this is going to be a faster car with the intake, but the numbers don't lie and overall we are down one horsepower. So what can we do to fix this? Well, we can't tune this computer. Um, I do need to trim this intake a little bit because this is a little too far in the corner. So we're gonna make this about half inch shorter. That shouldn't make any major difference. But what we're gonna do to get a little bit less fuel in it is we're going to see if we can take a little bit of fuel pressure out. So we're gonna do that by putting an adjustable fuel pressure regulator on the car and seeing if we can just lower the base fuel pressure just enough to where we get that air fuel back where we want it and see what that does to horsepower. But that's for a different video. So intake test, the myth is true. You don't gain power off of an intake, you do gain torque. So it's up to you whether you think that that's worth putting one on or not. I would say it is worth putting it on. Um, and I would especially say if we can fix this over voltage on the math, if we could do some kind of tuning, whether it's an airflow um, adjuster or something to hide a little bit of that voltage from the computer. Because as the, as the voltage went up and the air fuel comes down, it actually is also running less ignition timing. And so by running less ignition timing, it's also gonna have us make less power. Um, so a bunch of things that we can definitely improve on. This is where tuning is nice if you have that option. Um, unfortunately, this car does not have that option without auxiliary devices, but we'll get that sorted out. Still need to fix this headlight. Wheels and tires look better, suspension looks better, car drives way better, has good brakes on it now. Um, so it's getting, getting closer to a good full running status. I uh, need to go through admissions this week or next week if they open it back up for us and then and then get it to get it all registered. But yeah, myth busted. Intakes don't make more horsepower on the 2.2 Impreza motor.
Or are you guys ready to see something fun? What I did here was I, I wasn't happy with the way that the results were coming out on the dyno. Things just didn't add up. One of the things about a mass airflow meter is they're really sensitive to the direction of the airflow across them. So I understand that this won't fit under a hood um, and that it wouldn't work in the car, but I just wanted to do it to see if we would get some kind of a gain by adding a bend in front of the mass airflow meter. So we have a 45 and like a 135 behind it. So we have about 180 degrees of total bend behind the map, but in front we had nothing. It was straight in from the filter. So adding this 90 degree bend yielded some pretty interesting results. Let's come over here and take a quick look. So let me clear off the, the, the run before the last. What we have is I've got my baseline here pretty oops is that my baseline yeah got my baseline original baseline my 92.6 horsepower look at that just by adding that 45 we went from this guy here having that big power loss up top and a pretty big torque gain in the middle to now we've got a slightly less of a torque gain in the middle but we have way more torque down low and just way more power up top. Look at that. So there we go. We've kind of fixed the issue. And if we look at the math, at the actual air fuel ratio, you can see it's pretty rich through the middle because we're higher on the voltage. But then it doesn't seem to be having this weird dip up top. So the air fuel is much more behaved. 11.0 is a lot better than 10.3. And that's where our power is coming from. Now, I haven't changed anything on the car other than the intake. So this is just with intake tests. I feel like I can refine this intake a little bit more and maybe even get this little bit of mid-range back. So I think with a little bit of building, you know, I might be able to see close to 8 horsepower off of just changing the intake. And already I'm at, I'm at 8 foot-pounds of torque. So it's going to take a little bit more doing a little bit more work um, i'll do that one in the next video because i am going to do something for fuel management see if we can get it to lean out a little bit and make even more i think we can get it over 100 horsepower um, that way so thanks for watching guys again um, keep keep watching keep subscribing keep giving me a thumbs up and likes so that we can keep going on this project and, and let me know what you want to see because that's that's what i'm doing with this car is i'm doing what you guys want to see so thanks for watching bye